Hello everybody and welcome to Craft Time. My name is Allie Cobb and I'm Director of Children's Youth and Family Ministries at St. John's United Methodist Church. And I have a special helper with me today, Emery, and she's going to help me out with my craft. Now we learned a few days ago about our story about Ruth and Naomi and how Ruth and Naomi were good friends and they watched out for each other and how God provided for them because they loved each other and took care of each other. God ended up providing for them. And in the process of God providing for them, they had um, the opportunity to go into somebody's field and they picked up the leftover grains. And through that is how God provided for them. So for today's craft, we are going to kind of have almost like a little bit of like a grain type craft. So I have a blue piece of paper here. And then I also have a um, paper plate and that I cut. String. Well, I'm getting to the string that I cut in half and it says, God takes care of us because God always takes care of us. Now I have a little bit of glue here and you can always color your um, paper plate either with markers or colored pencils or whatever you wish. Hmm. Ours is kind of plain right now, but that's okay. So we have our, whoops. Okay, so we have our paper plate. Yeah. And before we glue it onto our page, I have my string. So it kind of looks almost like a basket. Here, will you help me? Here, will you hold that part of it? I'm only good at making knots. So. You're only good at making knots? I think you're I'm good at I'm friendship lots. knots. Oh, French knots. I need like, friendship knots. Oh, friendship knots. Yeah, I'm good at making those. Oh. You, 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 you just have to think. Of, you just have to think of your senses. You just have to think of your senses to make them. Okay. So right here. Whoop. We have our basket that we're going to dry and we are going to put <laughs> some grain in it. So I have some pieces of spaghetti noodles that kind of like symbolize our grain and everything. Emery, do you want to put some Actually, grain? I got lots. You do have lots. Do you want to put that in there for me? Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, we're going to load her on up. Okay. There we go. We collected lots of grain today. You can also use little pieces of rice if you have those. Oh, let's not do that. That's going to end in a mess. And then I have one other thing. Um, I'm not going to do it quite with everybody today. It didn't turn out quite as I had hoped for. But I had some popsicle sticks that I had Emery put some watercolors on. And the colors didn't quite show up um, as deep as I wish that they would have. But this is something you can do with older kiddos. Have them kind of either paint or color or draw on those. And then what you're going to do is you'll take a cup like this. And you can have them glue it. Um, probably you need super glue. I didn't want to bring that out with Emery being so little. So you can kind of super glue this all the way around. Can you hold on um, one second? We might need to buy more noodles. Okay, I have some more noodles in the pantry. So that's okay, but thank you. And so what you'll do is you'll glue those all around. And then you have a cup that you can do a snack with. Um, I didn't quite have a chance to get to the store. But you'll do um, kind of like lighter type of... Um, <laughs> snacks and everything to make almost like a mix, almost like a Chex Mix or something, um, because we learned how God provided for them by getting little pieces of grain. So you can do like Chex Mix and you can do some bugles and stuff like that to kind of make a little cup for your snack for the day, if you would like. Um, that's just like putting just drinks in a water bottle and drinking. Well, it's kind of like when you put water in the cup to drink out of. Yeah, but that you could put like snacks in that cup and it could be what you gathered in and everything. <laughs> Well, thank you everybody for joining us for this week's craft, and we hope you have a great rest of your week, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.